My name is Liane Martins, and we are at the Saul Alexander Gallery for John Galgano's exhibit. Uh, on his own words, it's the sights and sounds of Charleston. And he said, I am a local street photographer and would like to share with you what I see while I walk in the streets of Charleston. Let your mind go and you can hear the sounds and smells of the streets while viewing the images. Hope to see you in the streets on the these days. John Galgano. But I think before we talk about the gallery and the exhibit, we should meet the artist. Um, so talking about John is easy and difficult because John was a special person. He was funny, caring. Um, he, everybody, he made everybody feel comfortable and good about themselves. He was an old romantic, um, a gentleman, a real gentleman. Um, he would do everything to make everybody feel good about themselves. And he'd go extra, extra mile to do that. And I'm honored and blessed to have John in my life. John was also the bravest and stronger man I ever met. I was looking for a photographer because I was wondering about having classes, uh, photography classes at the, the library for all ages. So I started looking around for photographers in town and I saw his uh, website and he was telling on the website about the story how he was so thankful to his teacher, photography teacher, that he decided to open a school in Maine and kids will learn photography for free. So I said, that's the person. So I contacted him, I think by email, and he said yes right away. So we start um, contacting each other and then we met in person and when we met in person we knew we click right away you know and we start to get as friends together also and uh, unfortunately we knew each other for less than three months and he went to the doctor with sore throat and the same day he asked me to go there to see him my on his voice i knew something was wrong and he told me he had a stage four cancer um, on the, the throat behind the, the tongue and um, they sent him to go to the hospital, hospital same day but knowing John he's very <laughs> organized and he has his routine he said no I come back tomorrow <laughs> so he have you know documents and everything already organized for me and next morning we checked in in the hospital and in seven days his life just turn around. They removed our, all his teeth. They had a tracheostomy uh, done, a uh, um, port for feeding because he would not be able to eat, he could not talk. Uh, they did a port for um, chemotherapy and um, after that they started radiation and chemotherapy and it was long, long time that he was battling cancer. Many times I thought I was losing him and I thought many times he really wanna go. But I think um, he was strong enough to, to keep going. And the doctor said he was finally um, free of cancer. But he knew that was not the real true <laughs> thing about cancer, so. But that's the way we met and we became inseparable. I became his little sister, he's my big brother, he took care of me, so he was a blessing in my life. And um, we take care of each other. We thought it would be very nice to know John through his own words. So what I did is we have a recording with um, my niece, Isabella, that lady became family to him, uh, reading his uh, words. And I will make some comments, of course, <laughs> uh, throughout the, the recording. Once I arrived in Charleston, I knew I had made it to the promised land. Downtown offered the street photography I was looking for, as well as the beach and coastal scenes. After a little over two years, I received an email from Liani Martins at the Charleston County Library. She had come across my website and saw that I had taught photography to kids for free in Maine and wanted to know if I'd be interested to do it again at her library. My answer was yes. As we laid the groundwork for classes, I told her that I needed to see a doctor because I had a sore throat for a month or so, and I believed I had strep throat. John didn't have the option, but now there is the HPV vaccine that protects against the types of HPV that can cause the, that cancer. Liani, who is Brazilian and came to this country not knowing a word of English, remained at my side. 
a total angel sent from the heavens to look after me. She became my voice and got me through the painful challenges that cancer put me through. Today she is now my little sister and I am her big brother and we protect each other. This is the celebration. Each one is has a story and he see on these people the differences and the beauty of uh, life and Charleston. He was passionate about life. He was passionate about everything he did, music, baseball, sports, uh, fishing, everything he did, he did with, with passion. And that was very beautiful about John.